everybody, welcome back to Project Spatial. I am Katie Scheuer and I am here to increase your spatial impact. And I am so excited to talk to you guys today because I was able to test drive a new GPS unit that I really think you guys were gonna be into and honestly, completely saved my sanity on my trip. So let's get started. First off first, I am talking about this little guy right here. This is a GPS unit from Bad Elf. And as you guys can see, like it is tiny, okay? Like this thing's really small, easy, compact to deal with. Um, I absolutely love using it, but it saved me so much. My husband and I decided to go on this trip to Loon Lake, which is up in the Boundary Waters area. So it's kind of like the boundary between Minnesota and Canada. And there's a protected canoe Boundary Waters area up there. And so we decided to take a trip, get away from COVID, do all these things, and just go see some beautiful scenery. So on this trip, I was like, hey, we're going to be off the grid. There's no cell service. Like, let's just get away from everything. But I still, like, guys, I have such anxiety of not knowing where I am or where I'm going. And so I wanted to be able to not only test something out for you that was totally off the grid and just zero cell service at all, but also just something that was practical and useful and something that you could have a little fun with. So I reached out to Bad Elf. This is not sponsored by them, but they were very gracious to give me this little unit to trust out. I really wanted to reach out and just say a thank you to them. We were going on this beautiful trip and being completely off the grid, I wanted to dive into some real planning. So before we did all of this, I set myself an offline map and since I'm an Esri person, I dig right into that. Um, I wanted to go ahead and create myself a collector so I could do like pictures and be able to figure out what locations they were at and just kind of have some fun with it. So the first thing I did was I went through and created a map, but guys, I'm a big person with accuracy when it comes to map. It drives me nuts to have a trail map that I can't figure out where the trail is because it's just like this big line on a map. <laughs> So I grabbed some aerial photography that was from the county and it was really high accuracy that I was actually able to see the trails. So I digitized the trails by comparing the map that I had versus the aerial photography and I digitized all the trails to make my own map. I understand most people are not gonna do this for a vacation, but it was something that I just wanted to do and I felt like it was a great way to um, integrate that GPS unit. So I went through, created all the trails and we were ready to go. I tested out the GPS unit at home. I can kind of show you guys some of the accuracy I got out of my back deck here. And it was like super, super easy to sync up to my phone. So it's a Bluetooth uh, sync into my phone. I was able to get it into my collector app. Absolutely no problem at all. But of course, whenever you're doing something that is off the grid, you're always kind of a little nervous, like, okay, it's working when the internet's working, <laughs> but is it going to work when I'm completely no cell service, no internet, no nothing? First test that I wanted to do for you guys was to see how accurate this little bad elf device would be in the car. Because we got up there, and honestly, I'm gonna insert a little picture of what our dash looks like, that we were like completely off the grid um, or kind of on the grid <laughs> if you look at the picture, but we didn't have any service. We didn't know where we were going. And luckily there is one road in and run road out. So we knew we wouldn't get lost in the woods, but it is so full of trees. You can't tell where you're going at all. So this little guy was really cool. So I was like, okay, can I create my own little GPS, you know, car mount kind of deal or am I going to get kind of screwed over with the satellites because we have these huge pines on either side of us when we're driving and you can't know for sure. So I threw this thing up in the dash, you know, turned it on, got it up to my phone, threw it up on the dash and because I had created that offline map already, I pulled that up and we were literally using it just like you would use a GPS unit in your car, which was awesome because it really helped us find the trail that we were looking for to be able to use this the first time. 
So we went out on the trail and it was kind of fun because the trail wasn't, I mean, it was a well used trail, but it wasn't like necessarily a direct trail. There was a lot of like outcroppings, um, you know, where you could just kind of wander around and you wouldn't necessarily have, know how to get back on the trail on the other side of the outcropping. So we use this a little bit but the other thing that i think my kids enjoyed the most was they were able to see where we were they were able to see like okay well this is this cliff or you know we have this much further to go <laughs> and that was always something they were worried about because you know how kids be sometimes they they're just not ready to hike but we had a gorgeous day and we were able to get out to where we wanted and use this in the car and it just use it under a lot of cover, had zero issues whatsoever. Battery life lasted the whole entire time. Um, it was totally awesome. The next trip that we did where I wanted to test this out was we were going to go on this little canoe trip and my husband really wanted to portage to another lake to kind of get the Boundary Waters experience. And if you guys don't understand what portaging is, it's basically where you take a canoe and throw it up over on your shoulders and you walk it across land. <laughs> so you have to take everything out of the canoes, pack it all up, and then trek over to whatever other lake that you're going to. Out in the Boundary Waters, they don't use hardly any signs. There's nothing to really tell you, like, this is where you get off. There's no docks. There's no, like cutout areas it's just all basically you know foot driven trails like you're trying to leave no trace so when we were looking for where the portage started and everything i was so happy that a i did my research and i got that offline map working before we went out there but with this little guy guys we were able to figure out exactly where we needed to portage we were able to find the trail, get up in the right spot. We got over into the other lake. Um, and that's when we realized that we couldn't go back. <laughs> so we did not pick the best day. We were up there for just a few days and we wanted to get out and the wind the first day had been really bad. So we didn't go out in the canoes the first day, but the second day we're like, okay, well the wind seems like it's not as bad. And again, guys, like we don't have cell service, so we can't check things. We're just kind of judging by the lake that we were on and everything. And the wind picked up as we canoed out into the first lake and it was a longer lake and it picked up. We were starting to take waves over the canoe. Um, it was white caps and we're like, there is no way that we can canoe back. Like we thought we were going to be gone for three hours. There was no way we were going to get back until nighttime, like when the wind died down. We were just kind of like, okay, well, what do we do? So I had gone through and, you know, mapped out a trail to a waterfall that was at the end of Crab Lake, which was the second lake that we portaged over to. So we went through and we were able to use the GPS unit to kind of figure out where a few trails might be that weren't necessarily on the map that I'd kind of seen on the aerial photography. And no luck, no luck at all. So we canoed all the way down to the end of the lake and it was a smaller lake so it was easier to canoe on but still quite a few waves and we're just like, it's gonna be really hard to go back against the wind than go with the wind like we did originally. But we were able to see river otters and it was beautiful so we were trying to stay positive and we pull off into this little edge and that's that's when this saved my marriage <laughs> so having the gps unit and having my offline map like we got off and my husband's like i don't know this doesn't look like the trail it's all covered in we're like, what are we doing? We've got these kids. We're nervous. We're like, how are we going to get back to the cabins with our canoes? And we were kind of freaking out, <laughs> to be totally honest, because you're, you're out in the middle of nowhere. You don't, nobody else is around. You're just like, you don't know what's going on. And so we got out of the canoes. My husband looks at this trail. There's a huge moose track, like on the trail. And he's like, this has got to be just a moose trail. Like this can't be the trail that we are supposed to be taking. And I was like, nope, 
I pulled out my GPS unit, I pulled out my phone with my offline map, and I said, we are exactly where we're supposed to be. And we trusted the map and we trusted our GPS and we were able to actually hike up to the borderline trail, which honestly really isn't that much more of a trail, but we were able to get up to the border trail and then we were able to hike across the border, say hi to Canada and um, be able to go over to this beautiful waterfall. And we were all so happy to get to the water. We sat there and we took a nap and we had a few snacks, um, filled up our water bottles because we were lucky enough we bought some, or brought some water filtration straws with us. So we were able to fill up our water bottles in the stream and drink with the water filtration straw so we weren't dehydrated and everything. And then we um, hiked back to the canoes and we were able to actually with a lot of effort, <laughs> get back across the lakes and get back to our cabins. And we were so excited to get back to the cabins. It was, it was quite the adventure, way more than we originally um, signed up for. But with this little device and with a little faith, we were able to kind of keep our emotions under control and just be able to know like we were okay where we were. And the other peace of mind, just hiking with a family is really nice is I knew exactly what coordinates we were. So if we ever did come across somebody, if somebody got injured and one of us had to hike in, we could tell them exactly where we were when we came back out. This is kind of a long story just to demo to this device, but guys, it, it literally like helped me so much to understand where I was. So final thoughts, it's great battery life. It never once ran out on me, and honestly, I wasn't that dedicated to charging it. So I used it for two full days out in the wilderness, never had an issue with charge. It is very accurate, but it is not engineering accurate. If you are interested in something that's engineering accurate, then you want to look into their other products. They do have another product that is higher end, more expensive, and is a higher accuracy. And I will link all this information down below so you guys can check out uh, Bad Elf if you guys are interested in them. The other thing is you want to make sure that you are checking the accuracy that you really need. Like this little guy is supposed to get down to three feet. That was plenty for me. That was plenty to hike on a trail and mark like this is where tree removal needs to happen or I'm tracking an animal and I need to mark where their den is or you know I'm out on a road and I'm tracking where culverts are or I'm trying to figure out you know street lights or signs or you know hydrants anything that's above ground Honestly, this is going to do it for you. If you are a person like me who needs the security of knowing where they are when they're out in the middle of the woods, it is totally worth it. <laughs> um, if you are a person that has to deal with assets and tracking assets, or you are a person that is using something for scientific study, this is totally worth it. You can put this on a lanyard, put it around your neck, put it around a backpack, put it on top of a hat, Whatever you need, I really think that this is going to fill your needs. And make sure to give this video a like if you are interested in seeing me demo more like GPS units or do more reviews like this or check into more products. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys soon. Bye.